Is playing Rec Room games with full body avatars a bad idea? Or more specifically, which games are fine to play in FBA and what games are best to stick to the bean avatar? When it became known that the full body avatars will have extra hitboxes along with their extra limbs, the question came up if that will make things unfair in the competitive games. This Rec Room dev blog said that the FBA gets the tiniest disadvantage. But is that true? My answer is no. The FBA player does have a higher chance of getting KO'd in games that require getting hit. End of the video. But is that really true for all games? And FBA didn't just come with more hitboxes, they came with new offsets. Now, is this really a big deal like I'm making it sound? For some weapons and rooms, no. Then for others, yeah. When viewed like this, these offsets can seem intimidating, but will they actually affect your gameplay performance? Well, that actually depends on the weapon and how strong your muscle memory is with it. So first we'll walk through how the offsets affect some gameplay, then at the end we'll combine the factors of offsets and hitboxes to answer which games should be ignored when playing in full body avatars. And with that, let's get started. For nearly every weapon, the new adjustment is an upward angle, and for the objects that your bean hand would become the object, or in other words, holding by the center of it, you will now hold it on the outside with your FBA hands. So how will that affect how you play with them? For the pistols in flintlock, it's a slight change aiming-wise, because the weapon is raised and angled upward. You would have to shoot lower than what you're accustomed to, but it shouldn't take long to adjust yourself to it to become accurate again. For the objects that you throw, dodgeballs, basketballs, grenades, disc golf, bowling, etc., like I stated before, you now hold them by the outside. Probably because ever since I switched to the Valve Index, I've personally never had a specific way to throw things, so I'm always adjusting. Because of that, I've not noticed any difficulty in throwing. Now for the record, snowballs has actually not changed, and discs were technically already being held on the side. Also for the record, I love that the FBA hands hold the bowling balls very accurately, and the gameplay doesn't seem to be affected. Oh no way! Oh come on! Yes! That's probably because even though there is new offsets, the throwing and swinging won't take muscle memory adjustment like it would with weapons that you shoot. So even with the offsets, the swords are fine. But what I don't understand is why the cutlass is backwards for the left hand, and then for the bean, it's fine for the left hand, but then backwards for the right hand. Why? Now those won't affect your muscle memory, but the bow is a perfect example for the offset messing up muscle memory. Whoa. The bow feels weird. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to relearn how to shoot. Even though it looks great that my virtual arm and hands are along with my real ones, because of the offset, it's not as easy to find the bowstring, and you'll have to adjust yourself to be accurate again. Back when we could double shoot and even infinitely shoot, I considered that making up for the lost time and frustration it took trying to find the string. But now that they are gone, there isn't much of a reward or a satisfying factor or even much damage that the bow can do. So now I consider the sword being more effective because it technically causes more damage than the bow. I wonder if those speedrunning world records are now considered impossible to reach. That would be sad. Now enough warning about the bow. What didn't change? The shotgun and the wand barely changed, and even though the sniper did get a large change, it actually changed for the better. I actually feel like I hold it much better and even a little more natural. So not only does holding it feel more natural, but just the alignment of where the gun is and actually feels like the back of it is actually going against my arm for shooting. At least that's how it is for me. Oh wait, how do we hold these things? Here's try a sample of uh, holding a candle. <laughs> can you hold other spots of it? Okay, yeah, you can. Oh. Uh oh. No! <laughs> All of these offsets exist so we can see the hands hold the stuff in a specific gesture, even if there's nothing visually to hold on to. I appreciate Rec Room taking the time for us to hold Rec Room made items in specific ways. But now I'm curious if Rec Room will give room creators the option to set their own items to be held in specific ways. Just the fact of seeing your hands, arms, legs, and feet while playing makes everything feels like a new experience. But it also makes you a bigger target. Not just because of the hitboxes, but also because you become easier to spot. Once me and my friends played Rec Royale and FBA and I could easily spot my friend across the field because of the legs running drew my eyes towards them and since they were wearing white boots, it was like flashing for me to spot them. That could also be the same for Make It to Midnight where you are accidentally attracting Bunky to come hit you. In Dodgeball, it's a huge disadvantage to have extra hitboxes because of the close range. I got it, I got it. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it does work. 
In paintball, laser tag, recreal, and any of the games, your legs also become targets. Since the legs are the same length as the torso, that technically doubles the chance of getting hit. That doesn't even include the arms, and yes, even the feet have hitboxes. In games like these, competitive players love to see FBA players because to them it's like a free hit. So it's more a disadvantage playing games with FBA that involve getting hit. Unless you hit them first. All of the games are already hit them before they hit you. So I think some people would actually see this as a little extra challenge. And there's some people who don't care if they have extra hitboxes because they love the full body so much that they are fully converted to it. And that's okay. For me, I consider full body avatars just like any other outfits to switch in between for particular games or for even hanging out. So what games is fine and what games to ignore when playing in full body avatars? Now in the end, it's really up to each individual, but here's what I think. For quests, I believe that they are totally fine to play in FBA because you're already trying to kill them before they kill you, but it's easier for you because the enemies have a pattern. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you killed and saved me at the same time. Wow. For PvPs, I wouldn't play in full body avatars, at least not regularly in public rooms, because unlike quests, your opponents are actual players and they can target your extra hitboxes. For fast paced games, I'll absolutely play in full body because there's no disadvantage with having hitboxes and there's nothing to hold that will mess up your gameplay. Hey. Except when trying to fix a buggy in Rec Royale. I am stuck. For some reason, it's just you really off. really brought me places. <laughs> but it's just satisfying to slide and hit something with your foot hey, like hey, in hey, soccer. Hey, hey. For casual games, there's really no difference between full body and bean. So I think I would actually play it in full body, but I might stick with bean for 3D charades so it's not distracting. And oddly enough, you're standing in your seats during the game, unless they fix that. A big no in Rec Rail because you're easier to get spot in full body. And also I wouldn't in dodgeball because it's a closer range, giving a higher chance of getting hit in the legs. For Make It to Midnight, again, full body can make it easier for you to get spotted with those running legs, but I actually wouldn't mind playing in full body from time to time because it is a darker setting unlike Bright Frontier Island and I would wear darker clothes. Now, any game is fine if everyone is an FBA and I really don't mind if there is a mix between full body and bean. If you choose to wear full body avatars in public games, go ahead, I'm not gonna stop you. So if you have full body avatar, comment down below if you've created your own idea on what games to play in full body and what games to stick with the bean. Looks well, ready? Ready? <laughs> it looks like you're trying to pull up your pants. If you haven't seen my comments about the community's pre-thoughts on full body avatars, then watch this video here. Or watch this one if you didn't know that you can now watch movies and films in Rec Room. But can Rec Room keep safe from copyright?